Yeah, this was um, 10, 2, 3, almost 11. And I have Josephine here with me. Mm, yeah. Not doing well, to tell you the truth. Um, I've been sick the past few days, and now I gotta figure out how to raise money for hope. So, yeah, not. Not doing well. Um, <laughs> especially having Josephine here. Kinda, it really helps having them here, but. I don't know, I'm just stressed and depressed. Because <laughs> I have this condition and there's nothing that I could do. And I don't want to lose hope. Yeah, I'm kind of crying. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to show crying on a camera, but some people just don't believe it. And they actually don't have my dentures in. I actually have to get a cavity done, which I can't afford. Because any money that I get goes strictly to Hope. Because for me, she's more important than my tooth. <laughs> I actually want to just get it pulled out. Because... Up top, I only have two, two teeth left. And then I have this unknown shaking condition. And then life on medication. And owing so much money. Trying to pay that off. Trying to get by. It's just been extremely difficult. So, <laughs> it just means you're trying to come for me. <laughs> so I just have to have faith, and I've been praying like nonstop, like the past month now. But yeah, I, I don't know what to do. So, but I don't want to give up my cats because they're what keeps me going and makes me feel good. Like I said, I could barely get out of bed sometimes and just sleep all day, which is literally what I've been doing the past two days. It's just sleeping. Because I've been sick. And yeah. I haven't cried in a long time. And part of me is kind of worried too. What's going to happen to Hope? Like, if she has kidney disease or if she has thyroid, they think kidney disease. And I've had them both since they were kids, so just thinking about giving them up, having to let go of them. Not ready to do that. I don't think I ever will be. And some of you guys don't know too that Junior was their brother. Oh shit. He actually died in my arms. That was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Sometimes I worry about that's gonna happen to who. <laughs> and then on top of it, I had to put Nino down. The first cat. And then Phantom. 
their mom. <laughs> like less than a year, all that happened. So, having Josephine and Hope for almost 15 years is a blessing. So I can't give them up. I don't want to give them up. Not yet. Not until it's her time to go, so. <sighs> I know I said I wasn't going to cry on camera, but I was like, maybe I should, because some people really know how much they mean to me. Especially with this condition. When I first had this condition and had no medication, they actually wanted me to go to a home. And it's like, I can't do that because of my cats. So I've been pushing to live with this condition and medication for them. And that's why I can't give them up. I really wish Hope would come to bed, but I guess she wants to be alone right now, too, because she just got back from the vet. That's another reason why, after all these cats pass away from old age, I'm not getting any more pets. It's just too hard to say, say goodbye to them. But I'm hoping it won't happen soon. Like, if I take Cope to the vet, maybe she just has to go on an IV. And I know that's what they wanted to do today, but I don't have enough money. So they're like, that's fine because she's, she's not suffering. She's still active and eating and normal for her age, so that's comfort, but who's my baby? That's why I call her baby Raven. <laughs> she actually used to sleep underneath the blankets just like a baby. And her sister, Josephine, they've always been together. They've only known each other. And they lived, they went with me to, they were born in North Vancouver, and then they came with me here to Vancouver. So, but yeah, I've just been thinking about Junior. And then... Not having any teeth, being partially deaf, having swollen feet, I have pain 24-7, constant pain. So that's why I smoke, but that's all I do. Um, I have cut down a lot on pop, I have cut down a lot on chips because I can't afford it. I don't, I'll probably have to cut down on my allergy pills they're too expensive but I did just buy some <laughs> but yeah anyways uh, I'm just struggling and I just wanted people to know that because if I'm distant that's what but just like my cat's name is Hope, I'm not going to give up hope. Or faith. And I'm just going to keep trying. Hopefully not crying <laughs> in every video, but... I just want people to know. Hello, I am. And 
and then with Speckles, I feel really close to him because we both lost the love of our life. I'm still not quite over that yet. Like I don't, I don't want him back, but I don't want him in our lives either. But I did lose that, and Speckles lost that, and it would have helped if he was here, but he doesn't. <laughs> And just so you guys know, that the tears I'm crying are not fake. But. <sighs> it is hard. Because just thinking what's going to happen when it breaks. Take her in for blood work. I'm like, what, what's. I don't want her to have life on medication because I hate it. I mean, I try to make it look like that I'm fine with it. Mm, that. I'm okay, but I'm not. I have to sleep five hours. I can't do everything that I want to do. I can't afford to go anywhere. I can't afford to do anything. So that's why I need my cats. Because look at Josephine. She's just sleeping right on top of me. And usually Hope is, but like I said, she just got back from the vet, so... <laughs> But I've come a long way, and actually, I have the photos here. And so I think that's why I started to cry. Because <laughs> there's Junior, and Nino and Junior down at the bottom. So Nino I had for 17 years. And Junior, I can't remember how old he was when he died, but he died in my arms. And now all I have left are the girls. And then Speckles. And if it wasn't for Speckles, then getting over my ex would be twice as hard. <laughs> At least I didn't give things up just for my, for my ex. It was for Speckles. And... Yeah, I just had done so much for all these cats, and I'm not going to give up. These cats are not going to give up. And just like I have fake teeth, and I can't hear half the time. And then I'm in constant pain 24-7 because of my feet. I'm still not giving up. Even though sometimes I want to, but that's why I like that sure song, barely holding on. <laughs> that's the name of the song. Fucking barely hanging on. <laughs> but today I'm just gonna sleep. And, yeah, just sleep, hopefully cook and clean later, but I've been up since 1 a.m. actually, <laughs> but it's, just, it's kind of scary not knowing, like, even when I raise all this money to get the blood work done, what's going to happen? Like, I don't know. <laughs> and I try not to think about it, but it's hard. 
but I'm not ready to give up hope yet because hope reminds me of Phantom and Junior. So if you guys wanted tears, you got tears. <laughs> and I'm so tired, I didn't even bother putting my teeth and my took my makeup off already. <laughs> but I usually have my teeth in most of the time, not all the time. Because now at this point, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I mean, you guys have seen it. You guys have seen me with makeup on, without makeup on. You guys have seen me in my sexy outfits. And then dancing. I might do some more dancing later today because that actually always makes me feel good. But, yeah. Kind of scared. So, try so I'm like, raising money is the least of the problems, it's the worry, and wondering what's going to happen, and yeah, but at least she's home and she's with me and she's in her cat tent in her room, but I'm really glad that I took her into the vet. It's just kind of scary now because I don't know what's going to happen next. Because <laughs> with all the blood work, I mean, kidney disease and thyroid are, are both harsh things. So I don't really know. And if I have to give them medication, I don't know if I can. Like if it's a shot or something, or the, I don't know. <sighs> like when some cats are on diabetes and they have to get shots or whatever. I'm like, I, I don't know if I could do that. I would give her medication as she needs, but I guess I can't work worry too much about that till we get the blood work done. <laughs> but yeah. It's just it's very scary sometimes. And then trying to think about how I would survive for the rest of the month. With me and my cats. I mean, I know people keep telling me to give up my cats. And I'm like, well, that's not going to solve the problem. I'm still going to be in debt. And then I'll be miserable on top of it. Because I won't have my cats. And I'm already crying about thinking what's going to happen to her. And that shouldn't have to give her up. No way in hell that's going to happen. <laughs> if, she's, if she has to pass away, she's passing away with me. Because... She, I saw her being born, and she belongs with her sister, Josephine, and Speckles. Speckles loves her, too. wonder how he'll act, because they were like boyfriend and girlfriend at the beginning. Well, not at first, but once they all got along. <laughs> So, yeah. Sometimes it's rough having pets. I'm not even to give up myself at this point. It's just what's going to happen to it. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to eat and then go to bed. I got my pasta here. My vegan pasta I made. And then watch Gilmore Girls and eat. He didn't go back to bed because I just can't deal with anything. So you know, anyways, I'm still trying to process everything, I guess. But like I said, the vet said if I don't bring, if I didn't 
keep her there overnight. It's not because she's going to die or anything overnight. So, I still have hope. <laughs> Which is where I, where I got her name from, Hope. So, yeah. Anyways, just had to say. Really scared. About what's going to happen next. And... That's gonna happen to Hope. But she's still active when I told that that she was running around getting bugs and stuff the other day. So I'm trying not to be too worried. But So, if you have pets, make sure you give them extra love today. That's what I'm going to do. Spending a lot of time with them today. And, yeah, hoping and praying. And, hopefully my next videos, I won't be crying. But I just had to get that out. Because I, I just want people to know how much I love my cat. had them for 15 years almost. 15. <laughs> it's a long time. Not ready to let them go. And I'm not going to give them up without a fight. So... How could you just have faith? Faith, hope, and pray. And my my truth is the least of my worries right now. Or how I look. All that matters right now is I'm trying to think about uh, stay positive, have good thoughts. <laughs> Easier said than done though. But I'm not going to give up hope. My cat or hope. <laughs> and. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to eat and then go to bed. And I'll talk to you guys later. But again. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up my cats. I'm not giving up hope. So. Welcome to my haunted world. XOXO OG. Off you go.